How did you, you how did you end up linking with uh, uh, DJ Screw? How did y'all end up meeting? When, when I first mo- when I first moved to the eighth, right? My homeboy uh, Big E, R.I.P. Big E, Ken the Green Slant, one of the ones in the slab line way back then. They would just, him and Ki- Kiwi and them used to all be jamming the screw tapes. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Sometimes you got to think about it, man. You walking in purpose. Mm-hmm. You really are. You really doing what you're supposed to be doing. Right. Really, we think we doing something, but it's already written. It's already written. 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 You know what I'm saying? I, that's the way I think, man. Because a lot of times when the could have been taken out. I was in the right place at the right time. Right. It wasn't at the we wrong place. A, we, we lost, lost a lot, lot of good people. people. You just named them. You a named a bunch people. of them, man. Yeah. And that's the people. that's the game for me. Like um, when you uh, when you think about it, man. Just being from the legacy when you came from Texas. I mean, from Louisiana over to Texas, man. Bobo just pulled up. But when you when you came in like you did, man, at a young age, and then now you embrace the whole Houston thing, man. Because a lot of times. I think you from Houston because you done did a lot of work down there. Right. All the work down there. Right. You feel me? And I, I, I always look at it like. But you always keep it 100? Yeah. No matter what people say or what they do, I'm, a, I'm like a black sheep. I'm the black sheep. Because, see, like, when paint used to get painted on the walls and shit around the city, you'll see, it used to be everybody except me. A lot. You know, a lot of times. You feel me saying? So I just used to look at it and laugh because my resume and my history speak for itself. And the artists and the different the artists know. How did you, you how did you end up linking with uh, uh, DJ Screw? How did y'all end up meeting? When, when I first mo- when I first moved to the eighth, right? My homeboy uh, Big E, R.I.P. Big E, Ken the Green Slant, one of the ones in the slab line way back then. They were just, him and Ki- Kiwi and them used to all be jamming the screw tapes. So one day I was just like, man, take me over there. You feel me? So the Botany Boys is who I wind up going over there with to make our first statement. Me and when me and Screw met, it was just so genuine because I, I DJed ever since a kid. So we used to be in there battling DJing. You know what I'm saying? Then we just got super close. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about super close. So people would be in there like freestyling, like man, huh, da da da. And I go on that. I go on that without it. Uh, like Michael Johnson, I be dumb before your go to Peter Bro Food, baby. He's like that. You you coming over here to really rap? You feel what I'm saying? So we just got so so damn cool, man. It was you know what I'm saying. It was just magnetic, bro. Yeah. So so and and how how was he when when this first? How how would he have been? Uh, if I was if I was like 19, 20, he older than me by like yeah. three four years. I think. Yeah. So you know he DJed the night that Diddy tried to sign me because it was a show with Biggie. We you, shit that now you the, you, That was the time when Diddy was hot. What what made you not make that move? You would have been the first, you, one of the first ones. But didn't you see the car that you just said, didn't you see the car I was in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was we was getting bread. I, I had in the soul. I, I had already in the soul. A hundred thousand independent. You didn't want to go sign with nobody, uh, did you? We was getting seven, eight dollars a table. Yeah, we on Boss Talk one on one.